It's all about the sweet breads, and they're not sweet, nor are are they bread. Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. Oh, <laughs> bon appetit. Don't know what I'm getting myself into today, quite honestly. Kind of freaked out, but also could be sitting on one of my new favorite foods. So we're gonna find this in Mastering the Art of French Cooking, the first one today from Julia Child. And we're headed to the part of the book that I've been actively trying to avoid for as long as I can remember. Sweetbreads and brains. Sweetbreads and brains have much the same texture and flavor, but brains are more delicate. Now the burning question is what's sweetbread, right? It is the thymus gland of a calf. And this gland is only in calves, in baby cows. And once the cow grows up, this gland disappears. So, you know, people eat it. <laughs> you know, when you're reading a sentence that has the words brains in it, I have to take a step back. It's just not something that I've ever, ever even thought about eating before. So, I mean, this isn't brains, this is a, a thymus gland, but you know, I'm gonna put them in the same, same category here of things that don't sound that appetizing. You know, it reminds me of like when I made the aspic, it was something I wasn't necessarily psyched to make. And in the end, I didn't really enjoy the aspic. I'm generally open to trying new foods on the show. Generally. Julia speaks very highly of eating sweetbreads. She says it's a delicate and lovely flavor. So yeah, I'm gonna trust her on this one. I'm going for it. Okay, so this whole process started last night. And, you know, I don't know how easy it is to find sweetbreads. It took me a little bit of effort, but uh, we got there, mission accomplished. What you have to do first is soak the sweetbreads. And Julia says do it a couple hours before you get started, but I was looking online and, you know, other things I was reading said, soak them overnight. So that's what I did. The whole point is that you have to make sure all the blood is off them because the blood can be all over the place. And if you want to see what my initial reaction was to seeing what sweetbreads look like for the very first time, here it is. Sweetbreads up. Whoa! So delicately pull off as much as you easily can of the filament which encloses them without tearing the flesh. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, filament spotted and let's remove it. This is a rather slow process. It's like a very thin, you know, it's almost like you're peeling off like a thin skin. <laughs> So when do you know when it's when you've removed enough? These things are kept together because of this filament. And the more that I remove, the more these things start to fall apart. So I don't know how much more I want to remove. Add the vinegar. Yeah, that was a tablespoon. Good job. Soak in this water and the vinegar for, um, well, until I figure out what to do. Let's talk shop here. What are we making, right? We haven't, we haven't gone over that yet. We're doing the braised sweet breads, riz de veau breads. And then on the other page, there's a variation. So we're gonna tack on some brown mushroom sauce to go along with the braised sweet breads. Riz de veau braise à l'italienne. Sounds delightful. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like a classic mirepoix situation here. We got celery, carrots, onion, quarter cup of each, finely diced. One community dice, please. <laughs> it's like a mince dice. Some ham. Quarter cup. A couple sprigs of parsley. Sprig of thyme. Bay leaf in a cheesecloth. Okay, get your favorite pan over here. She says it needs to be enameled. Uh, that's enameled. 
Does it need to be? I don't know. Medium heat. Throw in four tablespoons of butter. It's a lot, but I mean, what did you expect? My diced up vegetables and ham. So this step always kind of confuses me, but adding in the herb, herb, bouquet, uh, directly into the pan, just like that. She's, that's what it says, so uh, we just listen to her, okay? Quarter teaspoon of salt and just a pinch of pepper. Around medium heat for 15 minutes. It's gotta become tender, but not brown. Obviously, Julia knows more than I do about this kind of stuff, but what does adding this directly into the pan do? besides having this cheesecloth soak up all the butter. Okay, so back to the breads of sweet. These have been soaking for an additional few more hours. Now Julia talks about trimming these sweet breads, but the way she's describing it, it sounds like hers were, uh, were a different thing altogether. Mine have already been trimmed by the butcher. There's so much like stuff that could possibly be removed off these things, but also if I keep removing things, they're just gonna fall apart. They're so wet. Let's drain them a bit more before we season them. That's gonna spill everywhere, isn't it? Half a teaspoon of salt and a big pinch of pepper to both sides. The time has come. Add the sweetbreads. Cheesecloth has soaked up so much butter. I don't know what, look at all that butter. I'm just gonna leave this out of the pan until I really need it. Because this stole all my butter, I'm gonna add another knob. Keep basting with the vegetables and the butter for five minutes per side. She says this will render quite a bit of juice. You know what, I think it's safe to add the bouquet back in. So I have a casserole dish over here. This is what we're gonna be braising the sweetbreads in. You gotta remove the sweetbreads into the casserole dish. These can go over here. Bring this back to the heat. Turn the heat high. Dry white vermouth, I need half a cup, which is what, 150 mils? Yeah. Boil that down to around half a cup of liquid in here. Pour everything into the uh, casserole dish. Cool. So I have half a cup of beef stock. Hopefully this covers everything. If not, might need a little more beef stock. Pour in enough beef stock to cover it just barely. Lid goes on. And what do I gotta do? Bring to a simmering point on the stove. I can't do that with this. This thing is ceramic. With direct heat in this thing, I just can envision it cracking. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna risk it. I just got this thing. Second of all, if I do that, you guys are all gonna get mad at me. So uh, I feel like I'm just gonna skip that step. It's gonna go directly into the oven. Oven's at 325. That's gonna go for 45 minutes. While we got some time, we gotta start prepping for this brown mushroom sauce. Bowl me, thank you. And gonna need that strainer too. It's like a colander, yeah, thank you. And, <laughs> okay, thank you. So I have a whole bunch of mushrooms here. You know what I do with them. I wash them, but I do not I do not want to get into it today, I promise. That's a conversation for another day. And I gotta finally dice them up. So uh, yeah, just do it. Just do it the way you think is best. And one big community dice. Butter, tablespoon or so. Mushrooms are gonna saute until they have browned quite nicely, actually. Uh, I'm gonna take the sweetbreads out of the oven. Shall we take a look what's under the hood? Interesting. 
Remove the sweetbreads. Okay, cut them into half inch slices. Half inch slices. Boil down the liquid that's in this thing, but as I mentioned earlier, I still don't want to do that. So uh, I'm gonna have to do the old switcheroo. The goal is to get to around half a cup remaining, so that has to, that has to do a little reducing. Okay, so what's next on the old docket? Um, so I need some, some, some stuff. A tablespoon of cornstarch. And a tablespoon of white vermouth. Might be a little more than a tablespoon, but that's cool, because we're doing a slurry. Yeah. I'm gonna turn off the heat and remove the bouquet. Now I'm gonna add in my slurry. Oh, there's something else I gotta add too, is one tablespoon of tomato paste. So, I'd say that's good. We're gonna get the mushrooms in there. And something else, oh, this. And a quarter cup of diced ham. That's a little bit more than a quarter cup, but whatever. Simmer for three minutes. Mm. Check for seasoning. That doesn't need much. Maybe just a hoot or two of salt and just a little of pepper. Very carefully fold in, <laughs> very carefully. Just add in the friggin', add it in. For presentation purposes only, I thought it'd be nice to serve it in this one. That was the goal from the get-go. But, I mean, it's all about the presentation. Order up! So I've decided I'm gonna eat this like a soup. Because it kinda looks like a soup. is actually really hitting the spot. I'm shocked that I liked that as much as I did. Um, I scarfed that down. You know, I just cooked it so it's fresh and it's hot and it's smooth and creamy and it's got like this texture, the sweet bread's got this texture of like halloumi cheese. That's what it reminds me of. It's not like very intense flavor or anything like that. It's kind of just mild, you know, like calm. Calm, mild, mild, calm. I mean, this brown mushroom sauce or broth or whatever you want to call it, uh, it adds a lot to this. So if I was just eating the sweet bread without all those flavors, would I like it as much as I do now? I don't know. When I first set my eyes on the sweet bread, uncooked, uh, it looked alarming. <laughs> but uh, getting past that, it's not so bad. I'm gonna rate that between a five and a half and a six and a half out of 10. Let's pick six. It's because I was hungry. Hey, I enjoyed it. Am I gonna eat it all the time? No. Is this a one-time thing? Yes. This was Jamie and Julia. Bon appetit. Au revoir. I'm very curious what the girl in the other room is gonna say. Let me see if she wants some. Christy, would you like some sweetbreads? No. What were you expecting me to say? Yeah, she doesn't want any. <laughs> I knew that going in.